it is water change date again today guys plus a few more things the snails hatch so you will be seeing that on the channel yep big things coming clouty 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 oh, i gotta get my gadget back in here it'll be moved over here today we'll be talking about it a little bit more in the video can't see a thing hate this you know but it usually happens when i see them it's clear majority of the time food goes in the tank they stir up the bottom and then it looks like this it looks like this it looks like this dun 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 the snakes are i said the snakes jesus christ the snails are everywhere they hatched about two days ago and they're everywhere they will be upgrading from out of this they'll be going into that there but for right now they're in there the other ones are also on their way uh, right there we got the beta the tank is a little mess need some more water we're going to be doing a little water change on this one not too much because we just did one so bad news with this tank right here our female uh, snail the one who's been laying all of our friends these guys here she thought it was smart to climb out the back of the tank right over here and she fell over like boom and yeah she sn broke her uh, shell she's right there she broke her shell and yesterday um, her body parts were hanging out the back of her shell um, I don't know if it healed up or not I didn't know what to do because that never happened to me I had had snails climb out and their shells crack and but that's it it just cracked and healed over time within about a month um, but her back was out like her inside and then the male snail I think he knew her she was messed up he pretty much stood on top of her for 48 hours um, today coming into today from when it happened or I think she fell out two days ago yeah two days ago and this morning when he finally got off of her her back was fine it went back into the shell but she has not moved from this position so I don't know if she's like passing slowly and what's going on with her. Um, I'm thinking about pulling her out of there and quarantining her, but I'm just not too sure. Um, a friend of mine has told me to just let her be, let her do her own thing, leave her where she was at because she's already used to the temperature and everything, and just see what happens. Then over here, we still got the 10 gallon tank. Still got the 10 gallon tank here. Everything is moving slow because I am going to be moving, so I haven't really made a huge step on to rehoming our buddy into his 55 moving our bait out so that we can fix this tank up um yeah so right now it's going to look like this for the meantime maybe for the next few weeks eventually coming into the channel this will be upgrading um the entire bottom i think i'm just going to pull out i'm not too sure yet i might just take out all the big rocks and uh dump another thing of sand i'm not too sure yet it might just this bottom might stay Add a nice big rock into this corner, the same as these rocks over here, into that corner. Um, pull this out, get like a little piece of driftwood maybe over here, um, and replace the plants over into the corner next to the big rock. Um, and add maybe just a few smaller plants running up the side over here. Don't know, don't know. Then for this tank, this gadget right here. We'll be moving over into the other tank to help clear it back up, get it back to where it needed to be because it done its job in this tank. Um, this tank just needed pH and this brought the pH up. Everything else is perfect in this tank. I added just a few more little plants that grew over in the beta bowl over here. Got to fill up some water here. So going to do a little water change on this one. And that's about it with this tank. I'm still figuring out what fish I want to put in here or if, if I even want to put fish in until I move. I might just leave it running like this. I don't know. I don't know what I want to do, guys. I don't know. So we had the one gallon, one and a half gallon tank. They were cycling for about three weeks. Um, this is the results of that. You're looking at pH, uh, nitrates, nitrites, and ammonia. It wasn't doing well. I couldn't get the KH up, what, even with adding the baking soda. So I cleared it out. We're going to be taking water from the 10 gallon tank, putting it in there, and then putting these guys in there as well. 
Order change number one, completed. Got it back in and it's already working Mario's. Look at that. So that's after a water change. Got that back in there. Come over here. The bowl, I didn't do a water change on the bowl. I just cleaned up the top like I always do. Uh, it'll be getting its water change tomorrow because it just had one. We got most of the snails out. These ones are the ones that will be in a pain and want to get off the glass. Those so hard to see. Ten gallon. Get a water change. Looking very good. And a twenty nine gallon. One of my favorite tanks right now. <laughs> 